Balter Beer, uh, Australian for beer. My name's Kevin Ashford. I'm the brewmaster at Figaro Mountain Brewing Company. Quality beer, quality people, and embracing our local culture. The name came after, uh, it, there's an actual beautiful mountain up in our, our valley called Figaro Mountain. Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful site. It's always covered in wildflowers this time of year. My boss, Jamie, he grew up in this area and he knew right from the first hike that he wanted to name a brewery after it. I went to school uh, in Virginia on the opposite side of the country for politics. And, you know, I, I had a job for about two weeks working on Capitol Hill uh, in Washington, D.C. and. Uh, Nobody wanted to get a beer at, at 4.59 one day. Right from that moment, politics probably wasn't for me and I needed to focus on something that was bringing people together. And beer's doing a pretty good job of that for a long time now, bringing people together. A uh, local brewery in Baltimore where I was living was hiring. Uh, I was bartending at the time and one of my regulars was a brewer and he said, hey, do you want to come sweep and mop floors? And uh, I started brewing at a company called Heavy Seas in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, nearly 14 years ago now. What I love about making beer, it, it is definitely the communal factor. People just seem to have this amazing way of, of colliding and, and coming together over, over having a beer and, and sharing parts about each other's days. So it always seemed like brewing beer was about as far away you could get from everybody else's job. And that really felt special to me. Striking balance has always been number one for me when we're developing new recipes, new styles, uh, quality ingredients. I think those go hand in hand. Uh, developing great balanced beers often relies around very high quality ingredients. Epiphany beer for me, uh, that would have been uh, Eggenberg Pilsner. Uh, it's an Austrian Pilsner. I was working at a craft beer bar in Virginia. I was about 21 on the dot. And at the end of every shift, I got to pick one beer out of the fridge. We had about 83 different bottles and cans. And uh, I remember one of the bartenders one day was like, give this a shot. And I remember there just being such a clarity of mind at that time. This beer is so clear. It tastes like unlike anything else I've had so far. It's dry, it's bitter, it's got a great floral nose to it. That's when I knew I was like, okay, there's others out there that are like this and that are exceptional. And uh, you never stop hunting. Dream job is brewing beer, absolutely. Never knew this was what I was destined to do, but now I know I'm right in my groove. That's it? That's it? I thought we were going to be here all day. Yeah, no, we really were. <laughs> Cheers to you guys. <laughs>